Hi, I'm Pielma. How are you? I was still in bed this morning when a song came to me. It's an old song because I've encountered this when I was still 19 years old, entitled One More Gift. The lyrics and the melody, saying it, it's very calm. It goes something like this. Grant me serenity within For the confusions round Are my reflections of What's within What's within me Then it goes on with If there's one more gift I ask of you, Lord It would be peace here on earth As gentle as your children's laughter All around, all around your people have grown weary of living in confusion. When will they realize that neither heaven is at peace when they live not in peace? To the composer of this song, thank you very much for listening to that voice within and giving this to us. I think it's Manolin Francisco. I'll put a link on the description box of this audio if you'd like to listen to the full song. It's beautiful. And then I realized that's where we are in right now. Even the cocks are crowing. Can you hear that in the background? So there's a lot of confusion, fear, worry. The more we hear about it on media, the more the worry is overwhelming us. So we need to learn how to manage our mind in order to temper our emotions. It's the topic of this audio, resiliency in a time of fear. Today, what you do for yourself, you are doing it for everyone. As a human race, we have been used to enemies that can be seen. It has reached its tipping point during the Holocaust, where millions of people died. I think January 2020, the world has celebrated the 75th anniversary of freedom from the Holocaust. And 7 plus 5 is 12, therefore we have ended that cycle. But the energy that fueled it is still with us. It's the energy of hatred. And we're entering into that cycle where the enemy cannot be seen. The virus is teaching us how to combat this kind of enemy. Clean yourself, not just your body, but your mind. Because what is happening to us is our own creation as a collective. It is interesting that it was called Novo Corona. In the medical field, it's Novo because it's new. It has no medicine. It is also telling us that we need a new mind because the mind has been infected. It has a virus and it's creating dark energies. We are destroying ourselves, not only with all the diseases, but the corruption maligning people, killing people's reputation, working together against others, institutions against institutions, religions against religions, brothers against siblings, members of families against each other. The coronavirus is asking us to go within. Even the doctors are saying that there is no medicine, but there is a vaccine that gives you heat to strengthen your immune system. And we are asked to be alone to strengthen our immune system and therefore we can heal ourselves. This is not just about a medical crisis. It's about a change in the mind, a mind that knows how to love. And this change needs to start from the self. What you do for yourself, you're doing it for others. You're doing it for humanity. What do we do when there's nothing to do? Number one, take care of your body. Take a bath. Keep your hands clean. Follow the public advisory. Eat enough. Take vitamins. Exercise your muscles. You don't have to go to the gym and do strenuous activities. And there's this energy healing called Reiki. It's practiced by the Japanese for thousands of years. In the New Age movement, you see this. So those of us who are looking at these things as voodoo, 
Well, reality is already showing us that what we have been doing is not enough. We need to open our mind to other things that are there for us. For me, it's been quite handy because when I have eye strains or headaches because of being in the computer for so long, I just apply Reiki and the pain disappears. So I like it. I find that it's the cheapest way to be healthy. Number two, explore your talent. You like to write, then write. You love to sing, then sing. You love to create, then create something. Do what keeps you in the moment. Because it is by doing that, that you are creating positive energy. And this is what we need at this time, positive energy. EWASH. EWASH is an acronym of a five-step process of transmuting your emotions, especially negative emotions, anything that disturbs you. It may be irritation or anger, anything that hijacks you. It's very effective. It's a liberating experience. I've always been emotional. Having this very simple technique on how to handle my emotion is very practical because I don't have to stay in that negative emotion for long as before. Now, as soon as I'm able to do it, then I'm free from the emotion and it gives me ideas on what to do. And over time, it has given me peace of mind. How to do Iwash? There's a link on the description box of this audio. It will get you to that special audio that I've made about Iwash alone. There was a day that I was listening to this update about the coronavirus and I noticed that I became so agitated. It was already about midnight and I was cleaning. I said, oops, I'm worried. So I asked myself why and I realized that I was absorbing the negative energy. So what to do during this time? Know only the basic of what you need to be protected, the rules that have been set in place by government, but then don't immerse yourself to updates all day. <laughs> Read, listen, and watch positive content only, whether it's TV or, or books or magazines or whatever media. Choose, choose what you consume. When it feels bad, then stop it. Love yourself. This is the time just to love yourself. You're not doing anything. What do you do? Spend time with yourself. Will you be castigating yourself? Will you be still be criticizing yourself? Well, if we'll be doing that, it's really not good to be with yourself, right? So, be kind to yourself. One easy way to do this is to learn to meditate, to silence yourself. People don't like the word meditation because it it's, has connotations to different religions or, or, again, what they call weird or voodoo. But then... What is meditation? Meditation is simply silencing your mind. Every religion has this form, has a form of meditation. Whether it's Catholic, whether it's when you're doing something repeat, repeatedly, you're meditating because you're silencing the mind. Whether it's prayer, whether it's chore, any time that you are not thinking, allow yourself that <laughs> to stop the chatter. I'd like to end with this poem. It's called Spiritual Warrior. You are so lovely. It does not matter the look. You are to me. Don't push me away when you are scared. I will protect you. Think of no how. I am power in you. Brace yourself. Choose your thoughts. You are master. You are light. Shine this brightness on that shadow within. Say, what are you up to? Hiding out here. Have you not known? This place is free, no black intent. I command you, leave this space or melt away. Transform your element into light, shimmer across the sky. Take care.